Right, hello everyone and welcome to the seventh race of Division 3 for Online Formula Racing Season 1. Today we are racing in Canada. I'm not even going to try and pronounce how that what the track is called. Circuit Giles Villeneuve. I'm just going to go with that one. Um, yeah, we're racing here in D3 today. We have an absolutely full grid as well. Uh, we had actually about 26 drivers sign up to this race, but because we have a max of 20 drivers because we're using the F1 cars, not everyone could make it. Yep, sorry about that, just making sure the mic was working okay. So everything seems to be working well and we have begun qualifying. So we're going to see a few drivers come out on track. I will apologize in advance because I have got a bit of a chesty cough at the moment. I hope it's nothing too serious, but I am okay. And I might have to pause every now and again just to catch my breath. But uh, yeah, we're going to head to qualifying. Just waiting for people to come out on track. Quickly just checking Discord, nothing's going on. Uh, for all those who are watching, just to let you know, we are racing in Canada for the Division 1 and Division 2 races this weekend on Saturday. That'll be 5pm UTC for Division 1 and 7pm UTC for Division 2. Just want to give a few shouts out to a few people. Um, first of all, I want to thank Vilsec because he has taken up the role of our social media star and he is currently managing our Instagram and Twitter so it's great to see. Uh, nice that all the drivers are getting involved and thanks very much for that. Um, a bit of a rumour that's going around is that OFR is going to be hosting a GT Sport League next season's week starting 27th of April. So if you do play GT Sport and you want to get involved with OFR, come to our Discord server. I'll post a link in the description of this video. And yeah, we, we will have love, we'll have love to see you there. We're hopefully going to have about three leagues, I think, um, because we have so many drivers interested and we're having you know, 15 driver races. So yeah, come along and join us. It will be absolutely great. Uh, I think Jan might have some connection issues. My, yeah, Jan's Wi-Fi cut out. Let's hope he can make it back. But we do have some drivers out on track right now. Uh, Lex has just let us know that it's going to be a dry quality and a dry race. Now, that's a bit of a surprise for Kanda. This is usually the track other than Silverstone where it always, always rains. But right now, one of the Williams is going to be the first to come around the track. And I think that's going to be Leica. So I'm going to quickly jump to Leica. It is Leica. He's just coming around the hairpin at turn 10 right now. And this track is basically straights and chicanes. There's very few, uh, you know, corners that, that that aren't chicanes that aren't paired together. Turn ten is one of them, uh, and the other, I suppose, you could say it was turn three, which is just a really easy right hander. But anyway, Lack is about to start his lap now, so let's ride on board with him and see how he does. Takes a bit too much curve as he goes through the wall of champions there, but he is away and he is starting his lap now. ERS set to overtake. He's staying in seventh gear. He drops it down all the way to fourth. Late downshift into third. Brings it down to second. First and two early upshifts into third gear as he's going around turn two. Doesn't take any inside curve at turn two. He positions his car well as he's coming into turn three now. Drops it down to fourth gear and he's early on the gas as he's coming through turn five. Kisses the wall there and keeps it nice and steady now he's coming up to turn six at the end of sector one you want to take a little bit of curve there as he does we've got yellow flag in sector three it looks like one of the ferraris has come off but like we just burned around turn seven there he's already got his drs open and his ers is only used 25 percent bearing in mind he has saved some as well but still takes a lot of curve there at eight and nine and maybe a little bit too much and it caused him to get on the throttle a little bit later but he is back up to speed. Lex has already retired from the session. That must have been Lex in one of the Ferraris there. But like he's just gone around the hairpin there. You saw he actually kept it in second there and did two quick upshifts into fourth. Not to stay in third too long and get some wheel spin. But his DRS is back open now. And let's see where he breaks into the final turns at 13 and 14. Just after the 100 meter board there. Ooh, too hesitant there. Took too much inside curb at 13. Lex has come off in the wall at the wall of champions there. And like across the line with a 109.8 on the soft tyres. Now that is a competitive lap. We've got Atomic beating him already on the 109.716. So he's already got a 10th faster and then AJ comes in out of nowhere and goes almost a second faster than Leica on the softs with a 108.826. So this is the time you've got to beat so far. Now, we're quickly just going to jump down to one of the... Oh, we've got... A, oh, Leica's invalidated this lap. Let's just see what's going on a bit further down. We've got Tom, who's on an in-lap right now. You can see that because his ERS is already set to zero. He has set a 111-0. Tom is one of our D2 drivers, and that's not a bad time from him. And our previous season winner, Izat, or Izat, as we like to call him, has set a 109-7 on the medium tyres. Now, 25% uh, race. I think there's going to be 18 laps. That's going to be a one-stop for sure. 
and it's going to be soft, medium, medium, hard. Unless there's a safety car and we might see something else happen. Uh, let's see if anyone else is on their lap right now. That was Fatty, one of our new drivers who's just gone straight past. Let me jump to him and see how he's doing. So he's going to be one of our new Division 2 drivers. He's currently riding in the Haas, as you can see. He is on a hot lap right now because he has got his ERS set to hot lap, as you can see. Um, he's not discharged that much this lap actually oh no yeah sorry he's discharged about 80 percent there he's only got 20 percent left let's see if he can make it to the end let's see where he breaks for turn 13 a little bit later than like he did turns it gets a bit hesitant as he goes through 14 and he's lost about a second there that was a bit scruffy uh, entry there into 14 but let's see how he does he pops in a 112.0 which is not bad at all that is a competitive time for d2 it's going to be absolutely great seeing you in d2 there who else is about to cross the line it looks like we've got is that Tom, no. Uh, sorry about jumping around a bit. It might be Santi. Santi's coming to the pits. Okay, everyone's in the pits right now. Uh, let's check if Rubs is the one doing the hot lap right now. He's got his ERS set to zero, so he might be on his out lap. He's letting some drivers pass, and is he coming into the pits? Yes, he is. He's coming into the pits. Uh, that was a Renault who just passed him. It's not Markov, so it must be his teammate. Vilsek, as Vilsek crosses the line, he is starting. Oh, he's invalidated. He's invalidated this lap and the next, well, the previous lap and this one, it looks like, because the track is still red. So I think he's going to have to come into the pits, because I doubt he has enough fuel to do two more laps. Vilsek um, is our social media star, and he will also be moving up. He's had a promotion from D2 to D1 this week. Um, so he's, he's going to abandon D2 altogether. He's fast enough for D1. He just needs to work on his consistency a bit. And I think we're going to see some battles here between him, Lika and Maximus because this battle has been going on season on season between Lika and Max so far. And Vilsek, I think he's going to fit right in the middle of that. And we're going to see three-way battles on track like we did in F1IR season two when we had that amazing free car battle in Abu Dhabi but yeah it looks like Vilsek is preparing you know his, his his fuels just started to flash so I think he might be coming in he does have a Red Bull behind him that's this oh that's one of the new guys this is Gernman um another new driver who's just joining us for D3 um excuse me he is uh turning off ABS for the first time so just to give you a reminder D3 uses the same assist as D2 that is they're allowed medium traction control they're allowed racing line through corners and also automatic gears but as far as I'm aware no one uses the automatic gears because it, it is a big detriment on your, on your time um, but yeah and then in D1 all they're allowed is racing line through corners they have no other assist whatsoever there's no traction no ABS nothing like that uh, so Vilsek is moving up into D1 with a higher assist and the D3 are using the same assist as D2 So for some of these drivers who are new today, um, so shout out to Gernman We have also Fatty and Benji who set a 1.11.2 on soft. So that's a very competitive time for T2 as well That's gonna be great to see at the weekend uh, Yeah, so shout out to these guys who have just joined and we hope you can stay with us the rest of the season There's only four races left, but we are going to start immediately after uh, after a one week of pre-season testing of course um, and Yeah Great to have you all here, guys. Um, so it's currently AJ, Izat, and Santi. Um, we have Santi on an outlap right now. And I think, is that Atomic? I think Atomic's on a hot lap right now. So let me jump to Atomic and see if he is. Uh, it wasn't Atomic that I could see. He's in the Mercedes. So who's that car there? It looks like a Toro Rosso. I think it might be Tom. No, that's his teammate. So then if it's not Tom, it's going to be Santi. Santi's on his outlap. So we'll jump to Santi and see how he gets on. There he is, just coming up to the first corner now. Let's see how he does. So that isn't the corner there. That's still classed as the straight. But this is turn one. Takes a big chunk of inside curb there. Pushes it wide. You don't see any early upshift like you do with the other drivers there. That was turn two, that really long right-hander. And this is turn three and four. A very quick chicane a downhill there. That's where we saw Vettel make a mistake and lose the race in Canada last year, unfortunately. Uh, turn five was that really slight right-hander that you just saw, and then that's turn six and seven there. And the second DRS zone right here in sector two, as he's coming up to the second or uh, third, fourth chicane at turns eight and nine. It depends what he classes as a chicane, really. But anyway, yeah, he's going up to turn nine now, and then the, and again, this is not a corner. This is just a slight left-hand bend into turn ten at the hairpin. 
You always think that you can get on the throttle nice and early here, but believe me, you cannot. It's like the hairpin at Germany where you think you can just get on the throttle early, but it pushes your car so wide. It is one of the tightest hairpins around F1, and you need to be careful there. But anyway, as he's coming through turn 10, there's a really slight left-hander at 11 after he leaves it, and then another slight right-hander at 12 that you can't even barely see. And then that's the chicane, the wall of champions at 13 and 14 there. Let's see what Santi's time is. He is starting his hot lap now, so we're right on board. Okay, so he breaks it about 75 meters, I think, into turn one. Drops it down into second. You don't see him early upshifting like you do the other drivers, like I said, on the previous lap. But he's already up to fifth. Let's see where he breaks into turn three. Just before the 50 meters, turns in nice and early, gets a nice bit of chunk, well, nice chunk of curb at turn three, but not at turn four. Goes around turn five, positions his car to the right and turns in nice and early. Almost takes all four wheels off track, but he manages to keep it, so well done there, Santi. Now he's gone on the DRS. You can see his DRS, that's his rear wing drag reduction system, wide open there, allowing the air to pass through and reduce drag, thus making his car faster when he goes through turns eight and nine at the chicane there almost touches the wall but doesn't we've got yellow flag in sector two and three i think that's just the car letting him pass there but he turns into turn 10 a late turn in which will allow him to turn in the car a bit tighter and get early on the throttle as he comes out which he does he's already moving his car to the center i think you want to keep it to the right here to reduce track distance but you'll see he's got his drs open again that's the third zone here and let's see where he breaks He's gone straight into the pit, so he must not have had a good lap there. We've also got Ezat on an out lap right now, so we'll see how he does. I'll tell you what, whilst everyone is kind of doing their intermediate lap, I will actually jump to Discord and use our bot Gwendolyn to get us some of the standings. So, driver standings for League 3. So, in first place currently is our D1 leader as well. That's AJ on 139 points. Now, in second place, we have Lika. Lika Lache Lakala on... 133 points only two points behind aj there in second place and in joint second place or technically third we have santi on 133 points as well that fight for first place is on and it could even be you know someone could change position in this race um in fourth place we've got maximus with 125 points again still very very close only 13 points behind aj there and in fifth place we've got our previous f1 ir season two winner e that is a t uh, with 109 points now all of the rest of the drivers are below 100 points and i only have the top 24 drivers here so if i do miss someone out apologies for that but i'm just going to go through them quickly so in fifth place we've got mats in seventh we've got stinson another new d1 driver in eighth place we've got yan in nine ninth we've got vilsec and in tenth we have have rubs on 36 points i'm moving a bit further down we've got myself dr robot with 31 points i've only raced in a few races <coughs> and when um, followed by misclick that's carter pitch black that's king reaper markov in 14th and yens in 15th now from 16th all the way down to 24th we've got droftas who I don't think is with us anymore because of some work commitments that he has, but he may come back towards the end of the season, so we'll have to wait and see. Then we've got Atomic, uh, who's our kind of reserve, shows up every now and again when he wants to. Our Italian driver, let's just call him that. Um, and then we've got Tommy, Beerush, Simon, Castle, Tom, Bounty, and Lex in 24, 24th. Now, there are some other drivers, um, but our bot only produces an image for 24 drivers, so that's all we can see right now. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of battles going on, not only in the front, but in the midfield and a bit lower down as well. For example, we've got Tommy and we've also got uh, Atomic, both on 18 points. Uh, and they're about to, you know, reclaim 15th place, hopefully, because Jens isn't racing today. And then a bit further up, we've got a battle between Markov, Pitch Black, Carter, myself, if I was racing, but unfortunately I'm not. So there's lots of battles going on all around, which is, yeah, absolutely great to see. Now, let's see who's on track right now. Who is on an outlap? We've got a yellow flag in Sector 2. Looks like it's right in front of this driver here. I think it was one of the Williams getting a bit messy. But one of the Williams is also about to cross the line. So let's see if we can figure out who it is. It's Leica. He's starting his hot lap now, so let's see how he gets on. One thing about Leica, if you look carefully, you can see he has a lot of steering control. His steering is so smooth, and I said this throughout F1IR Season 2 as well. And you could just see how perfect he was on the steering column. It's great to see. He's not twitchy, he's not, you know, correcting every now and again. It's just so smooth. Corner entry, corner exit, positioning, everything he does right with that car.
So he's just coming up to the hairpin now at turn 10. Let's see the lining take. So he's another one that takes the wider entry, allowing him to get on the throttle a little earlier there. But I don't think he got on as early as he wanted to, and he had to hesitate a bit there. I'm not sure. So he's started sector 3. Sector 3 starts just before turn 10 on that slight left-hander. Let's see if he can improve on his time. He's currently on a 109, and he's only got D1 drivers ahead of him. But Vilsec, the new D1 driver, is currently ahead of him. Oh, he, he goes faster. He set a 1091. So he hasn't managed to break the 109 barrier, but he is close and he did improve a fair amount there. So that has moved him up to fifth place. Now, let's just move down a few. We've got Vilsec, who's also on a hot lap right now, just about to come into turn 10. He's already 800s up on his sector two time. So we might see him. I'm not sure how good his sector one was, but we'll have to see how good his sector two is. I think he might be able to do something here. Let's see what he's going to cross the line. Oh, he's, no, he's, he's gone 8,000th up on his time. Is he still going for another lap? I think he is. Oh, no, he's, he's turned his ERS all the way down. So, yeah, he didn't improve there, unfortunately. Um, and he is still in 8th place. He still only has D1 drivers ahead of him, which is great. But I think we're going to see some more from, from Vil Vilsec here. We do have Atomic... Uh, no, not Atomic, sorry. We do have Carter about to cross the line, I think. No, that looks like Leica going into the pits and the Force India into the pits as well. Yes, it is. So not too much going on on track right now. But we do have a few drivers on the outlap. Max is one of them. We'll stick with Max for now and see how he gets on as he is approaching the chicane at turns 8 and 9. And I'll give you a live commentary over his hot lap when he gets round. Right, so here he comes, about to start his lap. So he was absolutely flying through the wall of champions there. The final two corners, 13 and 14. Takes, oh, he's invalidated his lap already. He's invalidated. Oh, he's not. He's, you can see he's turned his ERS all the way down, and he's going to have to go around again. So who else is about to start a lap behind Max? We've got a Williams in front of him. Is that Leica? No, it's not Leica, so it must be Carter. Let's quickly jump to Carter and see how he's getting on. He is on a hot lap. You can see his ERS is set to hot lap and he is pushing. He is currently only on a 111.0 though. So I wonder what's going on there. I think he's been saying he could do a 107 in quali. We'll have to wait and see what's happening here. But anyway, he had a bit of traffic in front of him, but it's not there anymore. Nice entry there into turn 10. He followed that round absolutely beautifully. There's a yellow flag in sector three. I'm not sure who that was. Now let's see where Carter breaks as he's coming into turn 13. Now that was nice. That was fast and smooth. It's remarkable. That's all I can say about that one. And he's moved up to with a 109.219 into seventh place. Now I'm quickly going to jump back up to Max to see how he's getting on because he is starting his hot lap now and he has a lot of cars in front of him. They are not being nice at the moment though. That's going to have affected his turn two. Might have even lost about two tenths there in that dirty air. And you can see he had a little bit of a twitch on a steering wheel. But he's okay. Isa has retired from the session. I don't think he's retired on track, so I think he's happy with his time on the medium tyres as Max comes through turn 7 there. DRS wide open. He is pushing very, very hard. We've got a few drivers retiring. Oh, that's because qualifying is now over, and we are going to stick with Max to see how he does on his final hot lap. This is the last chance he can do. Uh, this is the last chance he can do his hot lap, and he did cross the line in time to finish it. He's currently on a 1092, one tenth behind his rival Leica right now. Is he going to be able to beat Leica? I didn't manage to see what his sector 2 time is though, but he does look like he's fast as Leica gets disqualified from the session for driving the wrong way. That's interesting. So he's got his DRS open and what's Max's time going to be? It's a 109.2, he didn't improve unfortunately, but Leica retired, uh, got disqualified so I think he might even start at the back. 
That's interesting. So first place we've got AJ Santi Tommy. Uh, sorry, AJ Santi Tommy is at a max making up the top five, followed by Carter, Atomic, Mats, Vilsek, Benjamin, Tom, Rubs, Markov, Fatty, Duncan, Donuts, Lex, Pitch Black, Gernman, and Leica being disqualified there. Super unfortunate. But anyway, I'm just going to mute myself quickly so I can take a picture of these standings and upload them to our bot later.